live from Atlanta, Georgia. It's at home with AJ. And now, your host, Anthony S. and Jasmine. Makes me want to dance. Oh, yes. Welcome, oh, everybody. Yes. Welcome. Welcome to At Home with AJ. My name is Anthony S. And I am Jasmine. Woo! This weather here in Georgia, I tell you, is something else. What was it, 65 today? Yes. Almost 70. Almost 70. 65 in December. I know, babe. Sounds like a book. Mm. I was looking for that 30 degree weather. But um, Not I'm, kind, me. I'm kind of glad it's in the 60s. Not 60. me. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind 65. Oh, this is great. You know what? I saw a picture. What? You know, we were always on Facebook. I saw a picture of Buffalo, New York. Someone sent a picture of how oh, it looked yeah. this time in mm -hmm. 2014. Mm -hmm. And it was like covered in snow. The houses, he showed he the same two houses. And, and now in 2015, it's clear as a bell. No snow, no nothing. They said it's the first time in 110 years wow. that Buffalo hadn't had any snow at this time of year. Well, right on for Buffalo. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Buffalo. Right on, Buffalo. <laughs> Woo! You know it's cold up there. Hey, um, you know what? Little Aunt, I was wondering where little Annie was. Little Aunt. <laughs> I know. I didn't have him in my arms. I was wondering where he was. Anthony was sitting here waiting for us he beat us he beat us to the couch yeah yeah that's all right you know everybody say hello to little annie <laughs> hello that's my baby and as you know it's part of the family <laughs> we love him yes sir yes sir and so uh what'd you say now anthony what's it? he said what's the good news uh just for you little anthony i'll tell you <laughs> the good news is the fact that i'm glad to see you that's number one good news. Yeah, I see you did. You did. Uh, you got. You got your hair did. I see. Got, <laughs> you got your, your hair, hair did. did. You got your hair <laughs> did. That's cool. You know, gotta gotta keep it right, Aunt. Gotta keep it right. That's right for the ladies. For the ladies. Mm -hmm. Lady bears out there. <laughs> Lady bears. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, man. I got a piece of good news that's gonna just just make everybody smile. Um, you know, we talked a couple weeks ago about Jimmy Carter. Uh, uh, Jimmy Carter uh, has was diagnosed with uh, diagnosed with, uh, with with cancer. Yes, he brain cancer. Brain, brain cancer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, uh, it is reported that they don't see any at this point. Isn't that something? There is no cancer to be found. Wow, that All is right? a miracle. Praise the Lord. Lord yes. has touched Jimmy Carter and took away that cancer. And you know, uh, I I I wrote something to his um, to the. His uh, camp, I say his camp. His camp. Yeah, that's Who? a little. That's a little. Uh, his people. His people. Yeah. His people. And and I, I told them how happy I was that he was feeling better, and and that that is what happens to people when their heart is in the right place. Amen. You know, uh, God shows favor on you when your heart is in the right place. And, and Jimmy Carter's heart has always been in the right place. Oh, He's yeah. always a humanitarian. He's always been out there for oh, people. Oh yeah. Um, doing good things, even when he was feeling bad, he was still mm -hmm. doing good things. Out Isn't there. that something? Doing more than, than a lot of folks are doing. That's feeling good. That's right. Um, he's been out there doing great things for a long, long time. And you know what? He he uh, that favor is going to allow him to do more good things. He's uh, saved him for a reason. Oh, he's he's not. Uh, he's he's got more work to do. So. That's right. That's so. right, babe. That's some so. great news. Great Again, news. Right on. I'm going to give you the right on, Jimmy Carter. So, babe, you right know on, what? Um, I got some shout outs. You do? I do. I do. I do. I, I do. Too. I got a few also. Uh, let me pull up my trusty pad Mine here. Mine is in my head. It's, in, it's right there. <laughs> Yours in your head? It's in my head. Okay, cool, cool. I got a shout out in my head. 
<laughs> Shout out to your head. I don't know about that. Okay, wait. I have it in a different place. All um, these, all these devices, all these gadgets. You know, we are um, uh, kind of trekkies. Uh, I never used to be a trekkie, but Jazz has <laughs> turned me into techie trekkie. One of those. <laughs> well, hey, babe, wait. Hey, yeah. Let me do my shout outs. Okay. This is from Arthur D. Turner. Arthur D. Turner. And he wanted me to know that there is an open mic jam session on Thursday at the Velvet Note in Alpharetta. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that is Thursday the 17th. Yes, and um, Nat George, he does Sam Cooke and classic R&B, is gonna be at Jazzy Brown's in McDonough on Sunday evening. And he's also, Nat George, is gonna be in Conyers uh, late night Friday. And uh, he says, location to be announced, Arthur. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, he says, Amplified Children's Choir at Metropolitan State College in South Atlanta on Saturday evening. Those are my shout outs. And they come straight from Facebook. So if you have something that you want us to shout out, please send it to Anthony Jasmine. 5659 at yahoo.com. I got a couple of shout outs. You do. I want to shout out to my family. The Smith family, Leroy Smith, yeah. Gail Smith, Aaron Smith. Uh, I want to shout out to you back in Queens. That's where I'm from, y'all, Hollis, Queens. Uh, shout out to my family, the Smith family. Happy holidays to you guys. Love you. From Anthony. And Jasmine. And Jasmine, woo, woo, woo. and from Little Anthony, and from Little I also Anthony. I have one more shout out to, um, and he's gonna say, oh, you shouldn't have <laughs> Little Anthony. <laughs> oh, I want to shout out to, I want to shout out to our baby bear, Little Anthony. <laughs> Little Anthony, I'm shouting out to you. Happy holidays to you. You've been hanging in there for a long time with us. We love you. You're looking good. Peace and love and blessings Thank to you. you. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> keep in mind, everybody. Um, we are working on Little Anthony's adventures. So that's coming soon, y'all. It'll be entitled the, the Adventures of Little Anthony and His Friends. Uh, we mentioned Piper. You're going to see Piper pretty soon. Piper's kind of chilling out. He'll let us know when he's ready to come on, but we're going to introduce Piper to you. Piper is, is his sidekick. Oh, yes. Very soon, very soon. Very Real soon. soon, okay. So, um, so look out for that. Look out for Anthony's page, Facebook page. That's coming too. It's in the works, but um, he'll soon be online. Uh, in 2016, so look out for Anthony's page. Okay, babe, so yeah. uh, are we ready for Ask AJ? What do you want to ask AJ? Who first wants to ask AJ question. something? What's the first question? Cindy from Alpharetta. Okay. She wants to know. What does she want to know? At what age should a man or woman stop going to the club? <laughs> Man, if you guys don't know that. Um, hey, that's, you know what? I know some you, folks you know, <laughs> that are still going at, to at the what club. Age, I don't think there is an age. Um, I think, you, I think truthfully, I've seen people in the clubs, they're 95 years old. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if there is a particular age should you stop. Basically, what you're saying is that at what age should you stop having a good time? Oh, that's to bring, to, my sister, right on. Black I pie. like that. I like at that. At what age should you I stop like having that. a good time? I say no age. Okay, um, I'm always ready to have a good time, no matter what age I am. Um, I don't think there is a particular age. It's up to that person. So that's my answer. If you're 95 good years old, answer. 85 years old, 75 years old, 65, and you can still crunk, crunk it up. <laughs> and if you can just crunk. sit there and just move, just tap your foot. Okay. There is no age limit. Wow. So that's I, your answer. That's my answer. There it is. You know, I was going to go another way with that, but no. I'm, I'm liking that. There that's, you go. Yeah. Hey. Why should you stop having Why should you fun? stop enjoying life? I mean, come that, on. There's, there's no age. That's true. There's no limit to that's that. That's true. I like that, babe. I'm, okay. I'm going to give, you, give it to you for okay. that one. Okay. You give me that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. All right. So the second question is, 
Greg from Baltimore wants to know. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's actually obviously he's a musician of yeah. some sort, but he says BMI or ASCAP. I'll let you answer. And that. I'm with BMI. I I think it's a personal choice, mm -hmm. but um, I try to find out what the difference between uh, ASCAP and BMI. Break it down. And what I found was that the basic difference in the structure. Mm -hmm. is illustrated in a civil action that was issued by uh, the United States District Court. It says the ASCAP has a contractual duty to represent the interests of its members. BMI uh, agreements with its writers and publishers have no contractual obligation. And, and, and there lies the difference between the, between the two. So it's all in, in uh, who you want to go with and what you're looking for right. as far as representation of your, of your music or whatever it is you do, whether you're an author, whether you, you, know, you write uh, or you play. But at the end of the day, it, it comes out the same way. Mm -hmm. At the end uh, of the day. The, the bottom line is get with, get with somebody. You got to get with somebody. Get with one yeah. or get with one or the other because yeah. once your music gets out there and it's yeah. and it's being played, you want somebody to track that so that you can get your money. Right. Yeah. I'm also with BMI. Yeah. You know how long I've been with BMI? How long, babe? Too long. Yeah, me too. No, I've been with them a long time. I've been with them since I've been about 15 years old. Uh, I've been, I've with, been them with BMI. Since, uh, I would sign to to Brunswick. So I was uh, I was, I guess 20. 20. At the yeah. time. Yeah, because we signed, we was with BMI a year before we got signed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So since I was uh, 20, now I'm 22. So, you <laughs> see? Long time. Okay? That was just a couple of years. A couple of years. 22 <laughs> plus, and you know a few more. <laughs> hey, well, you know what? We want everybody to know that um, our holiday show is coming up, and we're so excited about it. Oh, my we goodness. Have, we have so many uh, guest artists that's going to be showing up for and this show. that show is going to air um, New Year's On New Year's Eve. Eve. Oh, okay. yes. We've got oh, a lot yes. of artists uh, showing. We've got people like uh, Robin Moet. Yes. Southern Soul Sister Singer. Yes, Robin Moet's going to be right. here. That's right. Miss Katrina Jefferson. Katrina Jefferson, uh -huh. yes. And mm -hmm. that bad boy of rap, Black, Black Zach. Zach. Also. Yeah. Yours also, truly. You want to introduce that? Two. Let me tell you. There you go. Come on. Mr. Please Please himself. <laughs> Mr. Anthony S. is going to play a little Christmas music for you on that day. Um, I'm going to play a little saxophone for y'all. You know, mm -hmm. bust a horn out. A lot of folks, <laughs> a lot of folks don't know that I do play tennis sax. Most of y'all think I'm just some lounge singer or just a talk show host. But I also... I'm also a musician too. Mm -hmm. uh, I do a little singing and I do play a little saxophone. A little so, singing and a little playing. Singing and playing. Oh yeah. I like that combination. Well, we're gonna have a great time, and we don't great know who else may stop by that day. Just come know? on by, y'all. Just come on by. The camera's party, gonna be rolling. Oh yeah. If you sing, come on and sing. If you dance, come on and dance. You stand on your head, come on and stand on your head. <laughs> Whichever one do, you come on down here on the 23rd, That's right. uh, we're gonna have a ball. That's, gonna, that's our end of the year celebration, and uh, I wanna take the time out right now to say thank you to everybody who's been watching the shows. You know, we are just psyched. Right. And I'm psyched about our guests for Absolutely. tonight. Yes. Um, oh, wow. From The Voice. Yes, 15 years old. 15, and she uh, got Selected, uh, I think everyone had pushed the button. What? What a what a powerhouse singer! I mean, I I, I um I um got a little bit of information about her. Let's see. Our guest for tonight. Let me tell you, she's 15 years old. Her name is Sianna M, and she's from Seattle, Washington. And uh, I, I, I did a little research on Sianna, and she's traveled all over the world. Her dad is a pilot with uh, United? I think he said United, yes. United Airlines. United. And so, you know, she gets those flight can, privileges. Can, she's she can fly anywhere. All over the place. But you've seen her on, on, on uh, The Voice. Mm-hmm. And she will be here. And uh, she says she was introduced to soul music when she was in the third grade. Wow. Mm-hmm. 
And she got interested in soul music after after seeing a video on Ray Charles. Isn't that something? Hey, what a start. Mm -hmm. What a start. And so from there, she took it upon herself to research other soul singers and uh, started performing. She's, in, uh, she's from Seattle. Okay. And we have her here tonight. And we are so glad to have her here. Everybody, please welcome Miss Sienna M. And I won't white He would always win the fight Bang, bang He shot me down Bang, bang I hit the ground Bang, bang That awful sound Bang, bang My baby shot me down came and changed the time when I grew up I called him mine he would always laugh and say remember when we used to play bang bang I shot you down bang bang you hit the ground bang bang that awful sound bang bang I used to shoot you down Music played and people sang Just for me the church bells rang He's gone, I don't know why Till this day sometimes I cry He didn't even say goodbye He didn't take the time to lie Bang, bang, he shot me down Bang, bang, I hit the ground Bang, bang, that awful sound Bang, bang my baby shot me down Thank you Such a big voice coming out of such a little one. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> have a seat. Welcome, welcome. We are welcome. so glad to have you. That was a great song. Thank you. And little Anthony is very glad to see you. This is little Anthony. This is Sienna. And you have to touch his ears, Sienna. He likes his ears. <laughs> it's a fair thing. <laughs> so, lady. We saw you in the voice. I know. What was that like? What was that like? Um, it was a very great experience, and I learned a lot not only about me, my singing, but I learned how the industry works behind the scenes. Mm. Wow, that's a lot. And you know what I want to ask you, um, the song you chose, that Back to Black? Oh, I sing Fever. You sang my Fever on that. Right, right. But the song you did for us... That's such a, how, how did you come to choose that song? Um, I really love old soulful music and I just, that one I really connected to, so I love to sing that one. Cause that song came out, matter of fact, who sung that song? She covered it, but um, Which was one? that Nancy? 
Oh, you're talking about yeah, fe this one, fever. This one that no, this I just one, yeah, sang bang, bang. is Bang Bang, bang, bang. by Nancy Sinatra. By Nancy Sinatra. Hey, you okay, you okay. See? I'm learning something here. I know my stuff, here. man. <laughs> I know that was Nancy. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. Remember these boots were made for walking? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Really? Nancy Wilson did that? I mean, Sinatra. Nancy Sinatra. Nancy Sinatra. See, I've, I've had Nancy Wilson on mm -hmm. the brain. Nancy Sinatra covered that. Now, how did you learn about Nancy Sinatra? Um, I just research singers that I like, and then I listen to singers that are like them, and then just keep searching and searching, and that's mm -hmm. how I found her. Oh, wow. That what, is, is, what is it about... Um, classic R&B that kind of kind of moves you toward that what, what is it that's driving you what is that what is that's moving you toward uh, you know uh, why why the old stuff um I love music that has meaning towards it and uses real instruments and mm -hmm. older music at both of those qualities, so that's mm. why I like listening to older music. Oh, that's, that's awesome. I, that's, I, that's a great answer. <laughs> Live music, not like this stuff today where everything's sequenced and, you know, they're running things over and over again. Auto-tuning. That's awesome. Mm. Awesome. So, Siano, where are you from? Um, I'm from Seattle, Washington. Seattle. Oh, mm. my dad. My dad lived there for over 30 years. Wow. In Seattle. Do you know um, there's a few famous, well, a lot of people, famous musicians came out of, out of Seattle, but there's one in particular, major producer, since you follow the old crowd, the old school, you may, you may know his name. Um, he started out as a trumpet player. Mm -hmm. He's from Seattle. I think you know his name. Oh, I'm okay. waiting to he, hear. <laughs> he started out as a trumpet player uh, when he was a, a young, young kid. Mm -hmm. um, but then he grew into a composer. Um, they call him Q. Hmm. Just gave you a big hint. They call him Q. Yeah. <laughs> you know who that is, Sienna? Um, the only trumpet player that. I he started as a trumpet player now, but now he's. He's he's worked in television. He scored The Wiz. He scored um, uh, so many television shows. And his name is Q. That's his nickname. I'm speaking of the one and only Quincy, Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones. Oh my yes. goodness. For those of you who don't know, uh, Quincy Jones' hometown, where he started from, uh, Seattle, Washington. That's where Quincy Jones was actually actually from. And yes, he did play trumpet. I am impressed. Y'all didn't think I, I knew that. Huh? I did not See, know that. I know research. I know, I know my. I'm a musician too now. <laughs> a, a lot of Seattle's known for its grunge music, mm -hmm. mainly from the 90s. Mm -hmm. But also, um, one of the most famous guitarists, Jimi Hendrix, there is you from go. Seattle. Too. Wow. Hendrix, yeah. Yeah. Now, is grunge like punk or is it um, different? Yeah, it's like punk. Some artists that were from Seattle are. Nirvana mm. and Soundgarden and Pearl Jam. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so your your um, interest with Amy Winehouse did it come out of that? Because she 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 kind of borders on grunge, jazz, um, a little bit. Yeah, I like her a lot because I love soul music, mm -hmm. and she's a soul singer, and she like kind of brought it back to her, her generation mm -hmm. and I just love what she does with music and she also loves Frank Sinatra yeah. and ah. so I love Frank Sinatra too. Fly song. me to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> you so gotta, you like, we gotta cover that one. I can hear you singing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So you like jazz too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. You can hear that. That's when great. you were singing that song by, by Nancy, I can hear that, you know, that jazz coming out. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, maybe that's your calling. Maybe that's where you need to go. <laughs> we need more young we people do. into jazz. We do. we do. I mean, and, and seeing it, you know, really, really feeling it. Because Amy mm -hmm. was actually there. Mm -hmm. She was she was bringing it back. She was reminding us that, hey, it's not going. And, you know, and I'm young. I'm a young. I'm a young person. Well, I mean, she she what, how old, how old was she about? She was in her 20s. Uh, she was but, like two weeks still, away from being 30. But right? for somebody oh, who was that birthday. young still. She really, even even um, Tony Bennett, because mm -hmm. they, they was working on working on an album together, and even Tony Bennett said she was one of the, the most um, influential young artists uh, 
and she is a jazz singer. Yeah, a true That's jazz singer. A true jazz singer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and and if this is where you need to be, well, this is, well, go for it. Yeah, I hear that. In go you. For you it. have yeah. such a powerful voice. Because so, for, for you to pick that song, uh, Bang Bang, I mean, I was like shocked. I was like, wow, what does she know about that? <laughs> what does she know about that? See, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so th now tell me, what was it like oh, yeah. to have those chairs turn around? Um, it was the most relieving feeling that you could have because um, I sang the first verse of the song and Gwen Stefani hit her button and so that was just the best feeling because I knew no matter what I was going on to the next right. round. Right, you knew you were picked. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> it's very flattering that um, three of some of the most influential people in music mm -hmm. are interested in what I have to bring, so that was really... But you were great. Fun. Thank you. You were great. You were um, uh, out of sight, really. Thank you. Uh, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, and then when, when, when Jasmine said, we're going to have her on our show, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> no, we're going to have... Yeah. I was like, wow, you know, this is good. Um, what was it like? Let's go back to the auditions, I guess. You know, I don't know how it is, what the process really is. Mm -hmm. How did you, get, like, how did you enter it? You know, and, and how did you get picked? Did you have to audition? The audition? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, it's a lot longer process than people uh, uh, uh. think. I, I think um, so. Some people they call to audition. So, mm. but I was actually searching for open mics to perform at where okay. I live, and then I saw an advertisement for voice auditions in LA. Mm -hmm. And so I asked my dad, because um, he's a pilot, so it's easier for us to be able to travel from place to place if I could go and audition there. And mm -hmm. so him and I waited for like five hours mm -hmm. in the line of thousands of people. Wow. And um, so they put us in a room with 10 singers. Mm -hmm. And I, we sang a verse and a chorus. And after that, they said, Sianna, can you please stay back? And then I went on to another audition in front of two people and they filmed me and then they interviewed me then I went to another audition it's all the so, same same day now no it was um oh I've audi we filmed it in June but I've been auditioning since January last year oh, so wow. yeah and so mm. I actually had to do three auditions before actually doing the blind audition yes and the blind audition when it airs on TV it's like five my segment was about five minutes mm -hmm. but we filmed that over a Span of two weeks, so I had to put on that outfit at least twenty times. <laughs> wow! <laughs> See, now, I, now, you're, now you're telling us all something about goodness. that process. Mm -hmm. I you had said, no idea. Uh, I, I thought we we think it all takes place in one day. Yeah, and it, and it doesn't. Not at all. <laughs> oh my gosh! Man, you have to have a lot of patience, a lot of dedication. You really got to want it, because mm -hmm. a lot of folks probably say, "Look, I'm, I'm tired." Mm -hmm. You know, and they just gave up before they even got started. Yeah. So you came out on that stage more than once. Um, actually, the stage, um, that's the first time we do it. It's just all the behind the scenes and the interviews. Mm -hmm. That's what we filmed for two weeks. That, like them getting to know us as an artist, so that's how they portray us to America. Wow. That's well, the something. final product was wonderful because when we saw you on, on stage and you hit that, Never know how much I love. And Chris, <laughs> Chris Fon, I was looking at Chris Fon, she was like, <laughs> Oh, she, she, hit, she hit that button quick. so fast. <laughs> she hit it quick. I was like, Wow. And I, then I seen your people, because the camera showed on your people in, in, over dad, in the corner. Yeah. They were going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Especially dad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know what my next question is, right? No. What made you choose Pharrell? Oh, yeah. Um, actually, going into it, I really wanted, I changed my mind a lot of who I wanted if I got. The chance to have all four coaches turn mm -hmm. and I really wanted Gwen but Pharrell's a really good sweet talker <laughs> and <laughs> oh, oh, really? also they show it differently on TV than um, what actually happened because it made it look like I was the second person on his team but really mm -hmm. I was the first person to be on his team mm -hmm. so I felt like that would be an, a way for him to remember me and that's why I chose him. Oh, and you called him uh, uh, 
Skateboard, skateboard P. P. Yeah. Now, what does that mean? Um, it's his nickname. He says it in his songs. And my brother is the biggest Pharrell fan. <laughs> and he's like, Siana, when you get on stage, you have to call him Skateboard P. And you did. Yeah. <laughs> does, does your brother buy his clothing line? Because he's got a uh, he's got one out also. Oh yeah, my brother yeah. is like follows him. Yeah, on yeah, I've seen his line of clothing. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. How old is your brother? He is turning twenty one in January. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Does he okay. sing also? He doesn't sing. He's a comedian. <laughs> he's oh. one of the funniest guys you'll ever meet. Well, he's got to come on oh, at home with AJ. Is he, is he pursuing that? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. He's actually, um, in next month, he's moving down to L.A. Mm -hmm. and going to college there. And he's also going to try to pursue his acting and comedy career. Well, I have a friend in the business, and I'm going to do another shameful plug. Mr. Bobby Sumner, he's one of the creators of Deaf Comedy Jam, mm -hmm. and we're going to have, I'm going to try Sumner. to put a bug in his ear mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. check your brother out. That would be mm -hmm. really great. <laughs> For real now, it's going to happen. Yeah. Well, how old were you? Well, no, you know what, I'm not, let me rephrase it. How young were you? That word old doesn't seem right. <laughs> how young were you when you actually started singing. I mean, you had to start somewhere. Were you, were, do you remember when you started? Were you one? Were you two? I tell <laughs> everybody oh, I've been you? singing since I was in the womb, basically. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, you're going way back. Okay, I, I, I you know, okay. That's, that's, that's way well, back. Well, she's gone back. She's keeping it real. <laughs> so, because um, a lot of people, you know, would like to know that, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, wow, wow, like, did she just pop onto the voice? Uh, and, you know, she's only 15. It's like, how long she's been singing? Um, she had to start somewhere, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot of, a lot of young people start when they like three. They may mm -hmm. have an ear for, you know, sound. And mm -hmm. you know, I know when I was a, a kid, I think five or six, I was singing in church. Mm -hmm. I was a little little kid, you know. Didn't really know what was going on, but I knew I had, I had a, a little, a little voice. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> it's got bigger now. So, um, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, that's good. So you started when you basically. We're swimming. That's a long time to be singing mm -hmm. <laughs> for for someone who's fifteen. Mm -hmm. So I'm when, actually, she just you're had a birthday. sixteen. Yeah. You just had a birthday. She just had a birthday. When was your birthday? Um, October. Okay. Yeah. October okay. what? October sixth. Sweet okay. sixteen. Yeah. Wow. Did you have a party? No, but I got a car, so that a was hoop? pretty good. Oh my goodness! Yes. You, said, you said a card? A, no. <laughs> <laughs> I a license card. A card. <laughs> Oh, Which it's gave me a car. A, 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 a car, a vehicle. Yes. So you're really? driving now. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I love it. I don't, I'm done with riding in the car with my mom everywhere. <laughs> I can drive myself now and it's pretty You got a brand new car. It feels car. good. It's not a brand new car. My, my family's really into cars and mm -hmm. my dad and my brother go to the auction and Oh. buy older cars and then fix them up and so I got one of those. Wow. Hey, but that's great. When I first started in, driving, I got a, a hand-me-down Rambler. <laughs> you don't know what that is, do you? A Rambler. No, a car is a car as long as uh, it you know, takes it's you somewhere. A, from, from A to B. Right? I, uh, my mother <laughs> bought a brand new car. I think I was 15 or 16 and she said, Anthony, if you want to drive, you're going you're gonna to take this. And I took it. <laughs> well, she said, hey, you need well, to fix it up and I did. Babe, I had a Pinto. <laughs> Nobody knows what that is anymore. Well, that's not as bad as a Rambler. Oh, God. Is a, <laughs> but it got me from here to there, and I was happy. Yeah. Yeah, so I know you are just Wow, you're driving, you're the singing, place. you're on the voice, and, you know, you're, now you're going to Hollywood. So what's, <laughs> what's next for you? Um, right now, I'm working in the studio trying to get out some more music, and mm -hmm. I'm also performing a little bit around where I live. Okay. And I'm just trying to... After I um, let out some music, I'm hoping to get more recognition and just from here to the moon, basically. That's right. <laughs> do, do you write? I just started writing some songs. Okay. And so I'm hoping to get those out soon. I am going to be looking for your music and looking for you because you are going to do some big things. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> that's, yes. that's for real. A lot of damage. <laughs> good, damage. Good, damage. good damage. Good damage. Oh yes, I can't and, wait. And you, and you need to come back to us to, mm -hmm. to tell us, you know, more adventures of, of, you know, your adventures and where you're going and what's happening. And, and just come on back and tell us. Yeah, when that CD yeah, comes when that out, thing hits, you gotta let us come here. Let us, you know, introduce that. See do you have a Do you have a name for your CD? 
that you're working um, on yet? Not yet, but I'll keep you posted. Please do. <laughs> Please do. I will. Yeah. Uh, we, we enjoyed you so much. Thank you, you so are, much for having me. Oh, you are just beautiful, beautiful Thank you. young lady, and I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, at, I'm at all. I'm sitting next to a major star. I know. Yeah. I know. Wow. It feels great. Man. But everybody, you, this is uh, At Home with AJ, and we've enjoyed our guest tonight, she's such a beautiful young lady, Miss Sienna M. From The Voice, y'all. From, From the, the Voice. You've all seen her. Yes, sir. This is At Home with AJ, where vision and reality come, come together. together. Good night, Good night everybody. everybody. I just need to testify I don't know if I can ever live without you And I don't know if I can ever breathe without you I put my heart in my hand